Hey guys, Al here. Um, it's a beautiful Friday before the 4th of July. Finally got rain here in Ohio and we're seeing um, some good growth on the food plots. Uh, people are probably getting tired of me talking about this, but I think it's really important. Whether you plant vitalized seed or some other version um, of a, of a <clears throat> spring or summertime food plot, um, even if you have good habitat, if you have small acreage food plots, we have to put in exclusion fences, guys. And I'm gonna show you why. So this field looks pretty good. I see spring barley, I see some beans, there's a bunch of clover, I see buckwheat, um, lab lab, um, I see the rape, I see some more peas, some more lab lab, some more beans. Um, and there's weeds in here. I mean, I see sorghum. Um, there's a little bit of weeds, but again, this is a summertime food plot. I'm not overly concerned. Um, with this and the reason being is it's also only a, like a maybe a half acre So I know that I'm literally using this food plot to help alleviate some of the browse pressure on some of the larger fields um, So here's what I want to show though is here is the exclusion fence and I don't even know if it's gonna do it justice But I sure hope it, I'm sure gonna try so inside the exclusion fence. I would say I would say you have about um you can see a box blind there behind me. I have about a average of 10 inch difference. The buckwheat is actually about mm, probably three foot three foot tall inside the exclusion fence. Outside the fence, um, it's on average I would say eight inches. So just another example, guys. If don't always think oh the crop failed or um, you know my planting methods failed and you know you need moisture. That's very important, obviously. Um, but other things happen too, right? Like I see some sun hemp here outside of the fence. Um, excited to see that, I love sun hemp. But uh, just to keep in mind guys, that there's other factors at play here. And often deer browse is a big one. Get outside, enjoy the outdoors guys, vitalizeseed.com.